Hey everybody and welcome back to Hatch 2.0. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery. In this video I'm going to show you something cool. How to set up your hatch for your machines. Now this is going to be night and day. This is going to make a fantastic difference. So first of all stand up from your computer and go over to your hoops if you have them hanging on the wall if you have them stored and write them down what the sizes are now let's set up a hoop now click it on it this is one I set up right click on the hoop and look at this you can set up your own machine so you can go through and pick these and they're already set up they're already done they're already there for you um, but if you wanted to do something a little bit different let's go to create and we're going to call it mick dreamy and i also have another uh machine up here uh, and I could do a multi needle and call it McSteamy, although I think, or sorry, Ragnar. I think Ragnar's in there. But let's let's just say your machine isn't, or you can't remember what the hoops are. That that happens. Some of them say PR, or whatever, whatever, and you can't remember it. So set it up, make everything easier. This is the easy way of doing it. So now I have McDreamy's hoops you can edit it you can delete it you can go back and look this one i named quilt and it is the eight by eight quilting hoop you could call it quilt eight by eight or just simply eight by eight that you can remember so let's go back to let's go into sorry create and name your hoop how easy is that so let's name let's do another one um it's a six by six for mcdreamy hopefully i have all of the hoops and it is see i like this oval three position sliding square you can get really specific for your machine and have it easy so i'm going to do round rectangle because that's what it is and i'm just simply going to change this to six by six now the numbers on your hoops are the stitching area so you don't have to worry how big the hoop is now hatch is concerned about the stitching area that is this part the stitching area so this one's six by six let's give it a save and now look how easy is that so mcdreamy six by six put it on manual you could do automatic centering and click OK and that is basically the stitching area of my six by six hoop how cool is that and you can put a template on it you can put your grid back around the next thing I want you to do is go up to user interface settings under software settings go there and make sure your auto design is on and we're talking again we're talking on how to make hatch personal for you how you like it um some people like the mouse click sound i found it find it completely annoying so crosshair cursor i use that in my videos and it sure makes it easy to line things up when you have your cursor match that so i would suggest you put your crosshair cursor on grid you can set up your grid how you want it i try not to use it for videos because it kind of makes the picture not as clear so we don't want to do that if you're having issues you can snap to guides if you're having issues that things are moving when you don't want to hop in there and take this off i never have it on but it is a handy piece of kit so view that's all the views that you have scroll so auto scrolling now what that means is if you're doing something here and you're moving something it will scroll up so say you wanted to place something way up there or way over here in the hoop you have it zoomed in it will if when you move your cursor over it is just going to scroll for you now it is handy i do sometimes find it annoying if i want to put something right on the edge like this 
and it scrolls up, I don't get it in the right place. But that's up to you. Try it on, try it off. And if you don't like it, just leave it off. Just leave it off. So those one are last thing you awesome. can do is click on the background button over here. Click on that and you can change how you see things. So factory fabric and the color custom fabric. This is where you can click browse and you can upload photographs of the fabric that you have. So grab your phone, take some nice pictures, make sure they're really clear and you can use your own fabric. I think it's fantastic. So you can see the fabrics when you're doing applique. So design background, you can change the colors on that. And if we click on that, so let's do edit. I usually do honestly a little bit of pink. These ones are really bright. So let's go to more colors and pick a really pale one. I find it enjoyable to have it pink. I mean, why not? If you have a favorite color that you know the RGB red, green, blue values for it, you can go ahead and put that in. So I'm going to leave it there. You could also change the color inside the hoop. Red might be a little bright, but we could do, let's do hot pink, because why not? Let's go here and look at that. So this is mind-blowingly pink. Um, you can definitely see your hoop. You can definitely see what you need to place in the hoop. But wow, that's a little bit bright, isn't it? Wow. So custom article, you can also take pictures and put them in here. And when you change the background to an article, you can, an article meaning a bag, a purse, you just have to be careful how you take the pictures, but bring them in and then you can do mock-ups easily on that. So yeah, take a little bit of time to set up hatch the way you want. The first thing I'm going to do is set this to something a little more reasonable. Now, the last thing you can do here is selected objects are going to be hot pink. Personally, I like that. Unsewn stitches, that could be red to show you that they're not sewn. Object shapes, so a shape around it, and it's under your show here that you can find. Grid lines, you can change the colors of those. Guidelines, which are these ones that you pull out, that's fine. Needle points, I don't use it, um, but I would just leave it as white. So you can make hatch as personal as you want. To how you can see it, what you see, and set up your hoops so they're specifically for your machine. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, doesn't this look prettier than gray? I think so. I like the pink background. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Set up Hatch the way you want it and enjoy using Hatch even more. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.